back to another episode of Ultima Online. As always, this is Zul'jin. So as y'all can see, I'm at the Elf Village again after Ruby and I's little conquest. It is time to grab our reward. Well done. Well done indeed. You are worthy to become an Arcanist. Alright. So, I've been awarded all of the following. Arcane Circle, Spell Weaving Spellbook, and Gift of Renewal. So there's quite a few spells in this set that I'm going to have to grab, but this that you can see right here is my little spell book. So if we open that up, there's nothing in it, but we did receive some scrolls, so Arcane Circle, that's going to go in there, and Gift of Renewal, that's going to go in there. Now, there are some other quests that we need to grab some of the other spells for it. Um, namely, what I want to start with is the... Um, the insect spell. I forget the name of it right offhand, but I need to do a little bit of research just to find out exactly where these scrolls are and how I get them. And um, oh, it's Nature's Fury, that's it. So we are going to um, try to get Nature's Fury and go play with that for a little while. So stay tuned and we'll be right back. All right, you guys. So I did a little bit of research and here we are at Luna and I'm going to show you how to get these scrolls. I ended up uh, meeting up with Ruby to help him mark a rune and uh, showed him what I was doing and we ended up getting a few while we were there. But this is like a little rune library located right outside of Luna. And if we go to Sanctuary, this is like a little place, it's, it's referred to as a Mondain's Legacy Dungeon. But there's a creature inside called a changeling, and it can change into me or another monster or any of the, the people in the party or whatever. So what I usually do is just go in, and look, he still looks like Ruby, actually. <laughs> so I'm going to e-vortex him. myself because they got that scout shooting at me right here. I think we should be good now. Go ahead and heal myself. So they're not real hard at all. This place actually has a few different um, bosses to it and there's a quest line associated with it as well. But the changeling dropped pretty good. They dropped about 622 gold. They usually drop a couple of each type of gem, and sometimes scrolls, but sometimes those other scrolls, and that's what I like. So I'll kill a few of them for you and show you what they're capable of dropping. Look, <laughs> he turned into me. on him. It's pretty crazy fighting myself, <laughs> but it's kind of neat. I wonder, yeah, I could double click him and he sure is me. <laughs> he could cast spells and everything. And still no scroll. Let's see, any decent magic items? No, not really. Let's wait till another one spawns. Down here is where it gets messy. That's where all the stuff is there. There's an orc brood in there. There's a bunch of rats. Um, and this Mog... Mogur. <laughs> I guess that's his name. That's the boss Eaton. He's about as dangerous as a regular Eaton. Um, but he uh, he's part of that quest line, like I had said before. And as you can see right there, he's casting some spells for... Um, He's actually casting some of the uh, uh, the spell weaving spells. Yeah, that'll kill him. Still nothing. Just because I want to show you guys, <laughs> they're being difficult. Let's see. Come on, Changeling. Come out, come out, wherever you are. And so far, I've accumulated, let's see, Attunement, Nature's Fury, I finally got it, 
Essence of Wind, and Gift of Life. Nature's Fury, I'll show you when um, one of my e texts go away. It's actually a really cool spell. Nature's Fury, it's weird. You can't target it like an entity, but you can. You have to fireball it, or it has to take fire damage to get rid of. I think you can take some dam. It can take some damage too, um, but for the most part, it's um, it's it's just there to kind of distract, and that's exactly what you need sometimes. So between that and peacemaking, it does a really really good job. I'm not too sure how I'm gonna use it yet, but I know you could do some pretty wicked stuff with it. Come on, Changeling. Uh, boom. And this time he dropped no scroll at all. Bear mask, oh yeah, he did drop the scroll, but it was nothing. A couple of amethysts. There's also this guy down here, which is an orc brute. Uh, I just happen to have, uh, I want to say it's an orc slayer flute. No, a Gargoyle Slayer flu fru Flute. <laughs> but uh, this guy's pretty tough. He's kind of like a... Uh, I guess about the same as... I don't know, a Titan? Not a Titan because he doesn't really cast spells, but um, uh, the Cyclops. And he's pretty easy to piece, too. Well, I see that. Sky Mage? No. Okay. Let's cast another EV. Stay away from that changeling for now. Uh, not good. Oh, he hit me for 61. Ooh, had to get out of there. <laughs> Took too much damage. That's the change of course. Okay. Piece that orc. And I want to go back down for that other orc too. There we go. Now you can see it. Gift of Renewal. So I already have that one. But uh, pretty interesting stuff. Definitely a cool place to, uh, to hunt at. And if I'm not mistaken, there was two diamonds in there. Yep. I'll take that. And let's go back and get this other guy. Cast Master Spell right quick. And let's do a Nature's Fury. Show you how it works. That's them. Insect Swarm. And you see, it doesn't do a whole lot of damage, but they, um, the fire will get rid of them, actually. Oh, no, it didn't. Oh, it's, it's burning though. Yeah, it's taking some damage. But as you can see, it's a distraction. Like, for casters, really, really hard for them to pull off any spells like that. And let's just finish off this orc. Oh, nope. Ouch. There we go. Let's see what this arc brute got on him. Shadow War. That's different. They also drop elven items sometimes. As you can see, hide pauldrons. Low regent cost. Huh, that's pretty cool. 13. I don't think I could use it, but I'll take it anyway. And I'm definitely going to take this gold. And I'll believe killed something down here too. Oh, just a little rat. Nothing much. Alright. Check this. Anything? No. Faster cast one. There. Alright. I am gonna get the heck out of here now. I think I've done enough damage. Just double check all the corpses. Ah, I had forgot something. 640 and a couple of rupees and that's it 
safe and sound. Let's go ahead and open up the rune book and we'll go to Papu just to drop off the loot. And that's going to be it, you guys. It was a pretty good run and we got what we went for, that's for sure, along with 11.5k. Very nice. Back up to 30k, just like that. <laughs> Well, guys, thank y'all so much for watching. Hope y'all enjoyed the episode. And as always, this is Uljin signing off. Have a good one.